Thank you uh, for coming. We are co-sponsors uh, of legislation to assess a 50% tax on bonuses uh, that go to the big banks that have been TARP recipients. Uh, that 50% tax would be assessed on all bonuses in excess of $50,000. It would be assessed uh, regardless of the form of compensation, whether it was direct cash uh, or stock uh, payment. The money that was raised on this would then be made available to the Small Business Administration for lending to our small businesses. What's happened uh, in this past year is that the banks, the big banks, uh, that used outside risk uh, to put a gun to the American economy and nearly destroy it and collapse the entire credit markets uh, is back to their old ways. And it is reported that the banks are going to be able to set aside anywhere from 100 to $160 billion that they intend to pay out in bonuses. Now, there's two reasons that the banks are back in business, both of which relate directly to the generosity of American taxpayers. One is the TARP money that they received, uh, a lifeline so that they didn't implode totally. The second, and actually more significantly, is the 0% interest rate from the open window policy of the Federal Reserve that made money available in huge amounts to the banks. The banks had three options with this money. One is that the money they made, they could have put back into their capital reserves and strengthened their bottom line so they could fight another day. And if there was another event that uh, was going to uh, hurt the balance sheet, they, not the taxpayers, would be liable. Second, they could have lent the money. Uh, they could have provided that zero interest money at, say, 4% to small businesses around America who are still desperately in need of capital to create jobs. The third option, and it's the one they chose, was to line their pockets. They put that money in their pocket to reward themselves for the use of taxpayer money and get back to their old ways. The American economy cannot sustain itself on that model. Banking has to be in service of long-term job creation. It can't be that the American economy, our manufacturers, our small businesses, are in service of feeding uh, the ever-growing uh, bonus culture on Wall Street. This legislation has as its goal two things. One, uh, to provide a pool of money that is going to help our small businesses so they can have access to capital uh, to create jobs. And two, to challenge this bonus culture on Wall Street where the taxpayers of this country are put at risk so that the bankers can have these outside bonuses that have gotten us into such a mess. I'm joined today by several of the co-sponsors <coughs> including senior members of the Ways and Means Committee and I'm going to ask uh, Jim McDermott from Washington uh, to make a few remarks.